In this video, I'm going to show you how to get access to the notebooks that we used in the Vesical workshop for the VMSG virtual meeting. Now, I've got the workshop GitHub page loaded up right now. And look in the description on the video for the link to this page. And when we load it up here, we've got a list of files that we used in the workshop. Now you can click on these and take a look at them. Um, it'll take a minute to load and you can see exactly what we would have seen during the workshop um, in Jupyter Lab. But you click in these cells, you can't do anything with them. So instead, a better way of doing this if you want to want to play around with them and do your own calculations is to scroll down the page here and click on this button that says launch binder. It will take you to the website mybinder.org and it should uh, a notice should appear that says starting repository and this may take a while. Once the binder has finished loading it will take you to a screen that looks like this. Um, a, a warning comes up you can dismiss this and then press close this screen. And then you're taken to a screen that looks just like the one we used during the workshop. On the left hand side here you can see all of the files that were on the GitHub page and the notebooks are highlighted with this orange symbol. And so we can open one up, let's go into the volatile solubility notebook and it appears just here. And we can interact with the cells now. So if we wanted to we could go in and change some of the markdown text in here and when we've finished editing that we can either press, press this button just here or we can press shift and enter together on the keyboard. But to run code we can click into this cell and again press shift or enter, shift and enter and it will run the cell. And it takes a little while to import the packages. And you can ignore these warnings here. These, these are just telling, telling us that some, some part of the code in Thermo Engine um, may stop working at some point in the future, but hopefully the Thermo Engine developers will sort this out very soon. And then we can go down here and I, I've left lots of notes describing what the calculations do. And you can click in the cells and run them, either pressing Shift and Enter or by pressing this play symbol up here. And you can tell when it's running because a little star appears in this grey box just here. So I'll press this one and you can see it. This one takes a little bit longer and we get the output down below. Now we can also download these notebooks uh, to the computer, which you might want to do if you edit this and change any of the properties to suit your own calculations. Um, in Binder your work won't be saved. As soon as you close the window it will disappear forever. So you want to make sure you're saving things if you're using Vesical like this. So you can go over to here, you can right click and find download in the list. Press that and it will download the notebook to your machine. And similarly, if you want to upload a file, so maybe you've got an Excel file with all your data in, you can go and click on this button just here and it will upload it. Now, a better way of using Vesical, especially if you're working on long-term projects, is to use the Enki server. Now this is the Enki website, enki-portal.org. I'll put a link to this in the description to the video. And to get onto the Enki server, you go up to here, Enki servers, go to production server, and it will take you to this page. Now if you've never used this before, you need to get access to it. And there are some instructions for how to do that just here. In another video, I'll show you how to bring in the workshop notebooks into the Enki server.